Hello everyone, this is Detective Tristan Pierce, and today we have a mystery to solve. A food mystery. Today we will be putting your pizza recommendations to the test in search of Portland's best slice of pizza. Let's do this. Because Portland has an endless supply of pizza shops, I turn to you guys for help via Instagram. I asked you what your favorite place was in Portland to get a slice of pizza. Let's take a look at your responses. So out of these responses, we must select three. Luckily, we have only four responses, so this will be easy. We have Pizza Rama, Pizza Hut, Escape from New York, and auto pizza. Well, I think this is an easy decision. My brother recommended Pizza Hut, and I'm not doing Pizza Hut. We've all had Pizza Hut. So folks, we have our three. I forgot I need this open. Let's start with Pizza Rama. So, I'm on their website right now. However, I don't know what pizza to get from them. I have an idea. Let's give them a call and ask them what their most popular pizza is. Hi, I have a rather odd question. Um, I'm on your website ordering a pizza, and I was just curious what your most popular pizza is right now. That's an excellent question. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm actually looking at that right now. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you so much. I'll just go ahead and order that one then. All right, sounds good. All right, have a good day. Bye. Oh my God, so easy. Okay, we have our selection. We have the Predator Pizza. This is red sauce, pepperoni, Genoa salami, Italian sausage, beef, and andouille sauce. Is andouille? Andouille? Andouille sausage. Looks like they're on the buku bucks side of things. So it looks like a 12 inch pizza is $21. But, you know, you get what you pay for. So this could be the most spectacular pizza ever. Next, we have Escape from New York Pizza. So the website says Escape from New York Pizza is open regular hours for takeout, slices, whole pies. Okay, so it looks like from this one, we don't have to get a whole pizza which is good because I am one person. And because we're in a pandemic, I feel like I should just give them a call just to make sure they're still selling individual slices. Hello, Cooper here. Hi, are you still selling individual pizza slices right now? I'm sorry, what? Are you still selling individual pizza slices right now? Are we still selling what? Like slices of pizza or yeah, are you just- slices for available. Okay, perfect, so I can just walk in and buy one then? That's correct. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. All right, we'll see you later. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm like, individual pizza slices? Okay, cool, they have it, that was easy. Okay, so on their website, it looks like they just have some classics. They have, oh, okay, they have prices. They have a cheese slice for 420, a pepperoni slice for 445, and it says a daily, daily, a daily feature slice for, 445 or if it has more than one topping it's 475. All right, so now we are on the Pizzeria Auto website and there's a lot of choices here. So, I think I'm going to do the same thing we did for the first one and just give them a call and see what their most popular one is. Pizzeria Auto Sandy, Yeah, of course. Well, that phone call lasted forever and then my battery died. So I'm just going to make a selection myself because evidently they didn't want to tell me. 
So on their website, they have a lot of different options here, but I see one called the Happy Hour Margarita, and it says, available at half price before 5 p.m. No additions or substitutions. And that means it's only $6 for a personal pizza. And the other pizzas are like, obviously double that amount. So let's just go ahead and order that one. Place order. Huzzah, thank you, we received your order. <laughs> I just slurred my words. All right, now that we have our orders placed, Let's get out into the field. Oh, can't forget my sunnies. So tasty. Okay, can't wait till we get back. Got some precious cargo. All right, three pizzas. Three potential winners of this competition. Who will win? <clears throat> well, I feel starved, so we're just gonna go straight into this. We're just gonna try them in the order that I picked them up. So first will be the Happy Hour Margarita Pizza from Pizzeria Auto. Let's just fold it and give it a taste. Honestly, that's pretty good. There's not too much sauce. The crust is thin and kind of chewy in a really good way. The flavors are good. I mean, overall, if it wasn't for the bad experience trying to ask them what I should order on the phone, where the guy just simply set the phone down and talked to people, it would have been a better experience for me. So when it comes to customer service with them, we're doing a one to five. I'm gonna give them a two because the person that was there when I picked it up gave it one more point. And then presentation, it looked good. I mean, it's a to-go order, so that's kind of hard to judge presentation. So I'll give it a four out of five. Atmosphere slash overall experience, I would give it a three. Flavor though, one out of 10. I will give that a six. Would I buy it again? No. Wasn't that great. But for the price, I'd consider it if it wasn't such a far drive. Next is Pizza Roma, and I got the Predator Pizza, which was suggested by them when I called them on the phone. And this place was kind of cool. It had like a, like a beer garden area, so people could still go and sit there and eat. So you go in there and they're still like serving normal pizza. You can buy pizza by the slice, which I didn't realize, or I would have just bought a slice instead of a whole pizza. But anyway, the pizza itself was bigger than I ordered. So that was really cool. This was the most expensive pizza though. So I'll display the price on the screen. I mean, for the price, this better be a really good pizza. It definitely looks good. So let's just give it a bite. All right, so this one, there's a lot of meat on here, which is exactly what the pizza was supposed to be. So that's great. Greasy in a really good way. The crust tastes like, just like, I guess, a normal pizza. And the flavor's pretty good. Is it worth that price point? I mean, no, maybe not. So customer service for this place, Pizza Roma gets a five, because they did a great job. Presentation of the pizza, Honestly, they gave me a bigger size pizza than what I ordered, so they'll get a five. Atmosphere and overall experience. Honestly, and I was in and out of there in like a minute and a half. 
He was like, I'm just going to assume you're Tristan picking up a pizza. I was like, yes, exactly. I didn't even have to wait in line. I'm gonna give it a nine. I don't wanna be like too crazy and do top points for all of this. And then flavor, one out of 10. I'm not blown away, but it's good. I give it an eight. We have last up, Escape from New York Pizza. This place was on Northwest 23rd, if you're familiar with the area. It was very much one of those places where there was a line, so I had to wait in line, which is a great sign. I'm just an impatient person. I got to see a lot of beautiful dogs while I was waiting. I see that people could order full pizzas as well, but you walk in there and they're just like yelling things like, pack the go, and like, I don't know. It just felt like a whole experience. It was kind of cool. I tried to record on my phone when I was in there and I didn't hit the record button, but there were like cool stickers and stuff everywhere. And the people there, they weren't friendly, but they were like very timely with getting people in and out of there. This is a huge slice of pizza and they just flipped it on a plate and gave it to me and I drove straight home. Like I said in my last video, my go-to comfort food is tiramisu, but if it's not a dessert, it's just a good old slice of pepperoni pizza. I've never eaten a piece of pizza this big before either. Ooh, oh man. This is delicious. First comment, the crust does not taste like, this one didn't have a whole lot of flavor. It was kind of chewy, really good texture. This one tasted like a standard pizza crust. This one is buttery. It just tastes like, like buttered French bread kind of, but it has like a good crisp. Like you can tell, it must be like one of those, whatever you call it, like a fire roasting oven. And it's a very thin crust. I don't know how they get so much flavor into this. This is amazing. How is a slice of pepperoni pizza this good? <sighs> Cheers to a New York pizza, I guess. Customer service. I'd give it a four. You know, they weren't as friendly as the people at Pizza Roma, but they weren't mean to me. They were nice. Presentation, five. That's a huge piece of pizza and it's a very attractive slice. Atmosphere and overall experience. I think I'm gonna tie that one with Pizza Roma. It's a different atmosphere, but my experience was still good. Actually, I like the atmosphere more at the New York one because it just felt like one of those authentic places that you go into and you just know you're gonna get something good from it. Flavor though, one out of 10. That's an absolute 10, you guys. I don't think I've ever had a slice of pizza that was that good. So we have a winner, woo. Escape from New York has won my heart. So good, just one more bite. Alrighty folks, the mystery has been solved. We have found Portland's best slice of pizza. So I thank you for everyone who submitted your responses on Instagram without your help. It would have been a lot more difficult to start this adventure looking for the best slice of pizza. And since we go off of your suggestions, I would also like for you to let me know what food you want me to find the best of next. You can comment down below and let me know or message me on Instagram. So I I urge you, if you live in Portland, to share this video, get the word out, tell everyone to go to Escape from New York Pizza on Northwest 23rd. It is amazing. I promise it won't let you down. They have other flavors than pepperoni. It was just... With all of this being said, I thank you for being here. And until next time, I will see you in the comment section. Goodbye.